Imagine this. You're standing on a massive bridge, cars zooming by, the wind whipping around you, and beneath your feet, nothing but water for miles. Ever wonder what's keeping that bridge from collapsing into the abyss below? It's not magic, it's structural engineering. Welcome to the world where physics meets design, where understanding loads, forces, and support is the key to making sure everything from bridges to skyscrapers stands tall and strong. Let's dive right in. Structural engineering is all about ensuring that buildings, bridges, and all kinds of structures can hold up under pressure, literally. Whether it's the weight of a roof covered in snow, the force of the wind pushing against a skyscraper, or the dynamic loads from people dancing in a concert hall, structural engineers have one job, to make sure that whatever they design doesn't fall apart. Sounds simple, right? But the devil's in the details, and those details are what keep our world standing. First up, let's talk loads. In the world of structural engineering, a load isn't just something heavy you carry, it's any force or weight that a structure has to withstand. There are different types of loads, each with its own unique challenges. Dead loads are the permanent, unchanging forces. Think of the weight of the structure itself, like the steel, concrete, and glass that make up a building. Live loads are the moving, changing forces, people walking, furniture being moved, cars driving across a bridge. And then there are environmental loads, like wind, snow, and even earthquakes. Each of these loads acts on a structure in different ways, and it's the job of a structural engineer to account for all of them. But loads are just the beginning. To really understand how a structure holds up, we need to talk about forces. Forces are the pushes and pulls that happen when loads are applied. Imagine pushing down on a piece of cardboard with your hand. That downward push is a force. Now imagine that cardboard is a beam in a building. If you push down too hard, it could bend or break. In structural engineering, forces are everywhere, gravity pulling everything down, wind pushing against walls, tension pulling on cables. Understanding these forces and how they interact with different materials is crucial to making sure a structure can stand up to whatever comes its way. One of the most critical concepts in structural engineering is stress. Stress is the internal force per unit area within materials that arises from externally applied forces. It's like the tension you feel when you're under pressure. Too much stress, and things start to crack. Not enough, and your structure might be overbuilt and inefficient. Engineers need to find that sweet spot where the material is strong enough to handle the stress but not so over-engineered that it's wasteful. Next, let's move on to support. Think of supports as the unsung heroes of any structure. They're the columns, beams, and foundations that bear the brunt of all those loads and forces. There are different types of supports, each designed to handle specific forces. Fixed supports hold things in place and resist movement in any direction. Pin supports allow rotation but prevent translation in any direction, making them perfect for things like bridges. Roller supports allow structures to move or expand, which is crucial in buildings that experience temperature changes. Without the right support, even the most well-designed structure can fail. But here's where things get really interesting, it's not just about individual components. In structural engineering, it's all about the system, how all these elements work together to create something that's greater than the sum of its parts. It's like a giant puzzle, where every piece has to fit perfectly to distribute loads, manage forces, and ensure stability. Engineers use principles like equilibrium to make sure that all the forces acting on a structure are balanced, so nothing tips over, collapses, or fails. And then there's the concept of redundancy. In structural engineering, redundancy is a good thing, it means that if one part fails, there are other parts that can take over and prevent a total collapse. It's like having a safety net for buildings. This is especially important in structures that need to withstand extreme events, like earthquakes or hurricanes. Redundancy is what makes buildings resilient, giving them the ability to absorb damage and keep standing even when things go wrong. So, why does all this matter? Because understanding the basics of loads, forces, and support is what keeps our world safe and functional. It's what allows us to build taller, longer, and stronger, pushing the limits of what's possible. Every time you walk into a building, drive over a bridge, or even sit on a chair, you're benefiting from the principles of structural engineering. It's the invisible hand that holds everything together, 
ensuring that the structures we depend on every day are up to the task. And here's the best part, once you understand these concepts, you start seeing them everywhere. You'll notice the supports in a bridge, the way buildings sway slightly in the wind, the beams holding up a roof. Structural engineering isn't just about math and physics, it's about bringing those concepts to life in ways that are both practical and beautiful. It's the art of making the impossible possible, using science to create structures that are not only safe and strong but also inspiring. So, next time you find yourself standing on a bridge, gazing up at a skyscraper, or even sitting in a well-designed chair, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work of structural engineers. They're the ones making sure everything stays in place, no matter what forces come into play. And now that you know the basics, who knows? You might just start seeing the world a little differently, with a newfound appreciation for the invisible forces that hold it all together.